Howdy y'all, I'm PJ with Bear Gaming. These are the top 10 secret map locations of Navisgain in 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. In the latest version of 7 Days to Die, the Fun Pimps have focused a lot on artwork and updating several of the points of interest. With new models, textures, and shapes, numerous buildings have been improved and ready for us to explore. Some existing POIs will simply get proper names, which I have included when possible, while others will receive more substantial upgrades. The Dev Diary claims this will bring hundreds of existing POIs, including those in the randomly generated maps, up to current standards, but exactly what that means is unclear. Most likely, it means that these points of interest will have certain new features, like the interactive environmental hazards and loot balance tweaks in line with the more sweeping changes to the game. In this video, I will show you the 10 best new secret locations of Navis game, from small hidden outposts to a massive new point of interest that was just added to the game. There is something here for everyone. We will start with the smaller, more hidden locations and end with the amazing new spot, so stay tuned until the end. Up first is the Mercy Point Camp, located at 1523 East, 395 North. This small location is extremely well hidden in the forest biome. With no path leading directly to it and several trees blocking direct views, it is very hard to find. With a focus on medical items and a lack of serious zombie infestation, this could make a nice player base with a water supply and metal structures. Just be warned, there is very little room for expansion if you mean to take the location over and it is not very close to any traders, but a very nice themed location. Next is the ancient Native American burial grounds, located at 1456 East, 993 South. More of a landmark than a structure, this area has been in the game for several versions and it keeps bringing a sense of history and mythology that I hope one day is incorporated into the storyline. It ties well into the Native American dwellings in the canyon mentioned in my previous secret locations video. Not much loot and with only a few zombies, it is well worth any survivor's time to check out and appreciate the details building into a storyline. Close to one of the classic secret locations of Navis game, this new for Alpha 21 venue is to die for. Located at 1442 West, 1166 North, the rural outdoor wedding venue features ample room to roam with a massive water source and a metal structure for a player base. Even with a large open area, it is still relatively hidden in the hills of the forest biome. Only a few zombies and the ease of the forest biome make this a good location to adapt to your needs and build later on to as you expand. While not too difficult to reach a main road, it is still a bit away from any major city, but close enough to several small neighborhoods. Another secret spot that is a bit more centralized for easy access to the traders is the New Life Hope Cabin, located at 1473 West, 89 South. A small location off the beaten path, it has metal walls and several buildings to convert as you see fit. But don't worry too much, there are a few gravel paths and a road close by for easy travel. There is even a sizable underground portion, but I won't spoil that for you. You'll just have to check it out for yourself. Getting tired of the forest biome and its easy living? This location, found at 1852 West, 249 South, is a bit more menacing. In the burnt forest biome of Navisgain lies the Burns Cabin. Get it? Burnt forest, burns. Nothing extremely special about this secret spot other than how hard it is to locate. It took me several trips around the map to find this one. It's made of wood and has no basement, and with no significant fortifications such as a wall or fence, this may be a good spot for a player to hide if the need arises and not as a long-term option. If you are enjoying the video so far, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 guides and video series. Also, be sure to check out my playthroughs featuring Arizona Sunshine, Dead Island, Dead Island Riptide, and now Dead Island 2. Links in the description below. Now back to the list. Staying with the theme names in the Burnt Forest, our next secret location is named Hot Foot Village. Located at 827 West, 51 North. This building features some nice defenses. A stone exterior and metal structures inside, all hidden by some steep hills. There are plenty of reasons this would make a great player base and contain some good loot. But be prepared to deal with the more aggressive zombies this point of interest has to offer if you want to set up shop. Just be aware with the hills to hide, there is not much room to expand without giving up some concealment. Our last stop in the Burnt Forest biome is the Underground Bunker at Bart's Salvage. At 1176 West, 114 South, this spot is not as hidden as most in this list, 
but the bunker below more than makes up for it. Metal walls, a concrete bunker, and a central location with access to a road create a near-perfect player base to take over. These features come with a price, the powerful undead who succumb to the virus down below. Be prepared before exploring this bunker as there are several dangerous zombies protecting a large cache of loot. Try to get something better than a primitive bow before taking this over. Moving to the snow biome, we find ourselves at 1538 West, 2129 North. The Ladu residence is hidden by massive mountains and a maze of a path. With no real defenses to speak of, this location is more beautiful than anything. A water source, room for several players to move in, a nice view and spacious accommodations, many players could make use of this building. Just be sure to zombie proof it. Besides lack of reinforcement in the structure, the loot is only average for the size of the building. Issues with cold and the lack of nearby traders, this may not be the best spot for a new player. You may find it a nice outpost for the nearby city of Parishton. Second to last on the list, but one of the hardest to find even with a path, is Our Best Moments, located at 2074 West, 2426 North. Just across the mountains from our previous location, this one is more suited for a single player. Massive water source and stone foundation help keep zombies at bay, but they will eventually get in if you do not take precautions. Remember, the rest of the house is just wood. This location suffers the same drawbacks as the Gladi residence, a weak structure, cold weather, and distance to traders. It would make a good outpost for the Parishton and a nice place to loot. Our grand finale brings us to a completely new point of interest and honestly one of my favorite new locations, the Parishton Tunnel. The south entrance, located at 1754 west, 1935 north, and extending through the mountains, this massive point of interest has near limitless possibilities. Covered by a mountain, built from concrete, and only accessible from two sides, this has the potential to be both a Blood Moon Horde base and a player base at the same time. While not entirely hidden, it is secret because from the outside it appears to only be a surface structure. Once you pass the first few hurdles, you begin to appreciate the effort put into this final secret location of Navis Game. Be prepared for some hard work to get it converted, but once done, could support several players for any number of play styles. What was your favorite location on today's video? Are there any other top secret locations I have missed in this or my other top 10 secret locations video? Please let me know in the comments below. With each new release, we get more and more great places to explore, and don't worry, there's still a lot of room left to expand in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you already have, thank you, I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoy zombie games, feel free to click one of the boxes for the playlist for my Dead Island, Dead Island 2, or Arizona Sunshine series. Also, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Until next time, laters.